we have an Agilent E3631A. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. I've had it for a couple decades, um, and um, I used it quite a bit, and then I got other things I liked better, and this has been on the shelf, and it's just been sitting there. Every once in a while I say I should give that away. Uh, it's too heavy to ship, so, and I don't like dealing on Craigslist or things like that. So. Um, so I got it out. I thought I would have some fun with it today and see if I want to keep it or not. I, I know somebody who might want it. Um, but uh, so it, it's a triple output power supply. It'll do zero to six volts, five amps and zero to 25 volts, one amp. So plus or minus 25 plus six. So uh, if you hit the six, it doesn't do anything. You have to hit display limit. So it says, okay, this is what it's set to. And so uh, you need to, you, oops, see, uh, you need to use the wheels to set the numbers. You can't type them in. I guess that's okay. So it's, it's, and then at 25, we'll say we're gonna do 12 volts and minus 25, we'll do tracking. Tracking, hold the, there we go, minus 25. So, so we have plus 12, minus 12 at one amp, and we have five volts at five amps. So that's a pretty standard thing. Let's go ahead and store that in, uh, in one. Um, so on and off, you just push the button. It says it's put, outputting that, no, no current. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the calibration on this thing. Um, it has a lengthy calibration procedure that's kind of interesting, so we'll do that today. Um, it's really, really heavy. <laughs> that's another thing I hate about it. It's super, super heavy. It's, it's bulletproof. It'd be a great um, supply to have as a test thing where you're setting it just to set it or controlling it over the bus. It does RS-232 or IEEE, so it'll do either one. Um, but I'll show you how to calibrate. You hold, the, it's real faint here, but you hold the calibrate button down while you power it up. And it comes up and it says it's secured, so it, it, won't, it won't do anything, okay? And so there's a secure button over here, and it comes up with a code. And so that's the security code. The security code is 000, or 0036, Three six, three one. The model number of the uh, it's right there. So you just type it back in, and then you hit secure, and it says now it's unsecure. Now it's in cal mode. Okay, so we'll do cal mode, and we'll go to um, cal setup one. So now we can start that. We'll hit calibrate, and so it's outputting this right now, and it wants you to check it. Okay. So we will, this is, it starts out on the six, six volt one. So we will hook up a, a, a DVM here and you go over there and you read the number you've got. So it's not, it's not the same number, it's 181. And over here we have one zero. So we'll say, okay, this is what we actually got. Okay, we actually have one, we actually have that, okay, we'll hit calibrate. Then it says, okay, that's what we're outputting, but we actually have that over there. All right, so we'll come over here and we'll say, well, we actually have, we actually have this, okay. And then we'll have cal set up two. Now it's gonna output current. Okay, so I'm gonna have to reach around the camera here. I'm gonna put it in the, uh, Okay, I've set my meter over there to a current, so it's 100 milliamps. Um, and we're actually outputting 0 0.40, 43 milliamps. We're actually outputting, instead of 100, we're outputting 43. So in order for me not to make a mistake, I'm gonna do a manual range on this. There we go, so it's, it's 0, 0.43. So we're gonna type that in here. Okay, so zero. Four, three, okay. 
Now, I don't want to push the next button because it'll blow up my meter because it's going to go to lots of amps. So we're going to have to disconnect this. All right. And we will hook up a meter here that can do 10 amps. Walk that up here. All right. So, okay. So uh, I've got that hooked up. So we will hit uh, enter. Now it's it's outputting 4.75 amps, and we're outputting uh, this number here. Eight, three, seven. So we're actually outputting that number there. Okay, so now we're doing Cal three. We'll go, and now we're outputting on the uh, twelve volt supply. All right. So let's put back our fancy meter here. Okay. And the number we actually had is six, nine, four, oh, six, nine, it's waffling a little bit, six, nine, four, whoops, four, five. Okay. Now it's 24. Oh, wait a minute. I did something wrong. Uh, I did something wrong. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter this. Because I need to go back a step. Okay, we're going to go back to Cal Setup 3. Because I messed up. Calibrate. Okay, 05, we actually have 4, 5. I was measuring current over there instead of. Uh, Things drifting a bit. Two, five. Two, four. Okay. Now, 24. We actually have 24.551. Oops. 551. All right. And now we're going to output. 100 milliamps. Got to reach around again. Sorry about this. Okay. And we've got nine, oops, nine, six. Nine, six. Now I don't want to push the button because it's going to go high current on me. Oh, it's one amp. This is one amp. My, my meter can't handle an amp, so we can go to the next one. All right. So we are actually measuring exactly that, so that's okay. All right, so at five is minus 25, so we're gonna need to move over. And we've gotta go back to measuring volts. Okay, so we have five, two, eight. All right, we have that. And now we have 24.627. All right. Calibrating it. And now we have 100 lamps. And actually we have 101. I think I should have 101, and now we got 0 0.952. Uh, I'll round it up to three. All right, so we are calibrated. All right, that's all there is to it. Now, if you want to lock this thing, you can hit uh, secure again, and then you can put in the security code to lock it. Three, one, secure. Now it says it's secured. So now we're good to go. We're, we can get out of cal mode just by exiting. We'll turn it back on again. Uh, we will look at uh, what we got here. So let's set, uh, 
Let's see here. Let's set volts to uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and we'll do current. We'll do one amp current. Okay, one, two, three, four, one. We'll turn that on. Okay, and let's go see how we did. Our current is 1001. That's pretty darn good. And our volts are 12336. Three, yeah, 1234. So, yeah, I'd say it is calibrated. So if you got one of these things, you know, calibrate it. It's pretty easy to do from the front panel. And um, yeah, maybe I'll do another video on how well this thing operates under loads and stuff. I got, I have my uh, my load here, and uh, we will see if uh, see if it really can handle things. And what the people were asking about what is the noise and ripple of a what should it be? Is there a standard? No, there's not a standard, but. You know, you can take a look at something like this, read the specs, and it's like, well, it was, if it's this good, you're good to go, if it's, you know. And it, it's really hard to know what is supposedly the best thing. You need to compare data sheets and figure out what it is that you really need.